In this video I'm going to show you how to apply media crackle paste with a palette knife. I'm then going to show you how I distress and antique it. Before applying the crackle paste the surface needs to be sealed so I've, I've given this heart a coat of white gesso first. I'm just simply going to apply the crackle paste with a palette knife. The, the thicker you apply it the larger the cracks, the thinner the smaller the cracks. I'm, I'm applying this probably about a millimetre thick in, in most places. Now if I was to base coat this red then I'd have red showing through the cracks when the crackle paste is dried. So you can base coat any colour you like. The paste is now dried, it's been about an hour, it's important not to heat dry it. We've got lovely cracks going on on the surface and I'm now going to start just to antique it and the first colour is cobalt teal hue. I've got a very small amount of the paint on the brush, uh, the brush is slightly wet so I, I want to keep this translucency. I'm just applying it in random areas to the heart. So the next colour I'm going to apply is transparent red iron oxide. I'm going to do exactly the same with this colour and again just apply it in random areas around the edge of the heart. There we go and we'll let this dry. I'm now going to use the Media Black Antiquing Cream and this is going to tie everything together. So I'm just going to apply this with a brush and making sure that I get the Antiquing Cream right down in the crevices of the cracks. Now once applied the Antiquing Cream can be left to dry naturally or it can be speeded up with a heat tool. Now that it's dry, I'm just going to take a damp cloth and I'm just going to start wiping back the antique and cream. You don't want the cloth to be too wet, even a baby wipe could be too wet and you'll end up taking too much antique and cream off. So I'm just going to gradually remove the antique and cream and leave it in the crevices of the texture and the cracks. You can see now, as the antique and cream is being removed, it's tied all those colours together and we're left with a lovely distressed, aged, crackled heart. For more information about the media range, please visit decoart.com.